Hi everyone, today we're gonna to solve this viral math problem. And the answer to this problem will be a proper fraction. And if you forgot what a proper fraction is, a proper fraction is when you're looking at a, this is a proper fraction, two or four is a proper fraction, one over two is a proper fraction. A proper fraction is when the top number is smaller than the bottom number. So four is bigger than two, or in other words, two is smaller than four, and one is smaller than two. So these two fractions are proper fractions. So our answer will be a proper fraction. Now, next to it is a whole number, five and three. These two numbers are whole numbers. And a mixed number is when you have a whole number next to a proper fraction. Now, you cannot uh, turn a proper fraction like this into a mixed number because the whole number will be zero and we have to have uh, a number greater than, than one to combine with its um, fraction or proper fraction. So let me go ahead and start solving this problem. And then towards the end, you're gonna see what I mean, why we cannot turn a proper fraction into a mixed number. But you can turn a improper fraction to a mixed number. So let me go ahead and solve this. Now, top part of this problem, three, two over four. I need to turn this into an improper fraction. So what you do is you multiply four times three, which is 12, and then you add two, right? 12, 13, 14. So you write 14, and then you keep the denominator, and then write the long division line, and then do the same here for this mixed number. So we're gonna turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So two times five is 10, plus one is 11. And then we write the two, which is the denominator. And now we have 11 over two. Now we have this problem, 14 over four divided by 11 over two. Next, we're gonna use this method called keep change flip, where we'll keep this part of this problem, then we change the division line to multiplication. And then lastly, we're gonna flip this fraction. So the two is gonna go on top and the 11 will go at the bottom. So let me go ahead and write that down here. So it'll be 14 over four times, because I changed the division line to multiplication, and then we flip the last part of this problem. So it'll be written like this, two over 11. And then we just multiply across. So 14 times two is 28 over four times 11 is, what is four times 11? 44, right? And then Notice, this is our fractional answer, by the way, but we need to simplify this to its lowest terms. And notice that the top number and the bottom number, they're both even numbers. So we can just divide by two, but to make this quicker, let's divide by four. So I know on both sides. So 28 divided by four will give you seven. And 44 divided by four will give you 11. So this is the answer, seven over 11. Now, yeah, this is a proper fraction because seven is less than 11 or smaller than 11. Now let's go ahead and try to uh, make a mixed number from this. And you'll see that we'll get a zero as a whole number so seven will be our dividend. Let's use long division to find our mixed number. Um, seven will be our dividend. And then 
the 11, our denominator, will be our divisor. So let's go ahead and solve this. So how many times can 11 fit into 7? You, you can't. So it's 0. And then you multiply 0 times 11 is 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. So if you want to write a mixed number, we take the remainder as being the top. And then we take the uh, denominator and leave it as it is. And then we take the 0 and write it next to the fraction. So it will be something like this. And this is not the answer, but you'll have something like this. So 0, 7 over 11. So the 7 came from the remainder. The 11 came from the denomina uh, denominator. And the 0 came from the top, the top of the long division symbol. So this, no, we can't because we have to have a number greater than 1. So the answer is going to be 7 over 11. So that is your answer. 7 over 11, 7 over 11, it is your answer. And there you go. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel to support. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy face.